Welcome back to Fam Health. As we all know, September 29th is World Heart Day. And this year, the theme for World Heart Day as set out by the World Heart Federation is how to use your heart to beat cardiovascular disease and also how to use your heart to practice better choices to decrease the risk factors of getting heart disease in the first place. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of having with us Dr. Devi Shetty, who is the chairman and founder of Narayana Health. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. And I know you have a very busy schedule, so we really appreciate the time. Thanks, thanks, Anjana. Thank you. You know, most people, especially in their 30s, aren't thinking about heart disease as something that's an immediate threat in your life. So why is it, how do you convince people, sir, to go in at, you know, even in their 30s? Uh, I would like you all to, I'm sure a lot of them do read newspapers and listen to TVs. They see this big muscular man, gym coaches and the people who are fanatics. All of a sudden, they drop down dead on a treadmill or in a gym. All of them did have some type of heart problem. And all of them didn't have any symptoms. Half the patients we operate today do not have symptoms. They're not having chest pain or a breathing difficulty. This is called silent ischemia. Silent ischemia leads to silent heart attack. So my sincere request to every Indian, being an Indian is a risk factor for developing coronary artery disease. Well, that's one way to certainly think about things. Um, so when you're talking about, you know, like you said, Indians are genetically predisposed are there things, steps that we should take in our lives to knowing that we already have this genetic predisposition in order to decrease our chances of getting um, further risk factors or of developing some kind of further you know, issue? You see, uh, Sanjana, as you said first, uh, young people think that uh, they are not uh, vulnerable for heart disease. And this is the biggest problem. Yes, sir. In, in my practice, it is not the uh, uh, young son bringing his old father for a heart operation. It is the old father bringing his young son for a bypass grafting. So age is no criteria in thinking about or thinking about vulnerability for a heart disease. So everyone first, they should know whether they have a heart problem or not by doing various tests. Today, there are tools which can predict heart attack 10 years ahead. According to me, every Indian past the age of 35 to 40, even earlier, if they have a family history, must go for a CT scan. It's called CT angio. It takes only three seconds to find out whether they have even early disease. We, I work in Bangalore. We have a large number of young software engineers whose company pays for the routine test. They go for a simple test and they have been, most of them, or a good number of them, drink like a fish, smoke like a chimney, and they go for a simple test like a treadmill or a echo, and they say everything is fine. And they not only perpetuate the lifestyle, but they also tell others that this is the lifestyle I lead, but my heart is perfect, only to drop down dead after six months. If only they had a CT angio at that time, that could have been prevented. So my single message to every Indian is that if you have a family history or if you are a diabetic or a hypertensive, please get a CT scan of the heart, CT angio. That can predict heart attack 10 years ahead and change your lifestyle. So if we, you know, since we are, as we talked about, predisposed to heart disease, um, if we do get this CT angiogram and something does come up that's not good, you know, which is sort of to be expected given the incidence of heart disease in the country, uh, what are some lifestyle changes that you recommend making for people who have, you know, heart-related issues or something that could become in the future a heart-related issue? A lot of the heart problems the progression of the disease can be slowed down or virtually arrested by changing the lifestyle. Lifestyle creates, makes a big impact on the progression of the coronary artery disease. What is a lifestyle change? 
first if you are a smoker quit smoking if you are consuming tobacco quit tobacco if you are obese lose weight if you are a diabetic control diabetes if you are hypertensive control hypertension essentially lead a very very physically active life so just by changing lifestyle i am not saying you should work less i am not saying that you change your job or occupation to uh, help your heart disease i really don't know whether it will make any difference but changing the lifestyle changing your going away from the vices and trying to do something to keep yourself physically active will make a big big difference thank you sir and like you just said uh, you know younger people it's it's kind of a myth in this country that young people go heart disease nahi hoga or that they, it won't happen with them um a similar myth i guess is that women tend to have less fewer heart conditions so can you talk a little bit about women's health and heart disease please every woman must understand that the nature wants them so they will protect them till the age of 45 50 but after that if women do not control their lifestyle if they are not if they don't take care of their health believe me nature drops them like a hot potato it is very sad it virtually dumps them when the nature thinks she is of no use to me so it is all the more important that the women take care of their health seriously because coronary artery disease long term result in women are not as good as it is in men because they tend to get diffuse disease thin vessels multiple blockages these patient don't do very well even after a successful bypass or angioplasty so women need to be very very careful when they are young only to enjoy sound health when they pass their uh, prime Okay thank you so much sir and um one other question i had is about you know you talked about a ct angiogram but are there other tests that we should be getting done in order to make sure we are you know cvd free and uh, like a cholesterol test for example and how does that tie into the larger picture of cvd see the the fundamental test is simple blood test to know the blood count and basic electrolytes uh i'm not very convinced about the big impact of the cholesterol reducing agents but an echocardiogram to know how well your heart is functioning a ct angio to know whether you have blockages and a simple ecg with all the blood tests can make a huge huge difference in the long term result of coronary artery disease mm-hmm.